Hey everybody, welcome back to Carriage Place Sukhan 2. We're about to get a rune. And but first I want to try going down Joey's path. See what happens. Leknot has instructed us to go through the left. Oh. Whoa, ominous. What is it, Carrie? Are you ready? Um I'll What's leave this you visual imagery we're seeing here uh down the path? Like oh like crystals sticking out of the wall? What is that? Oh, it's like archways and like or flame, blue flames. Oh, okay, got it. Interesting. No music again, is there? No, I think that's intentional though. Yeah. Um we gotta turn down pretty low. This is it. Carrie, can you hear me? Are you ready? Did our sound cut out again? Hmm. Or is there just no, um, raise your right hand. Technical difficulties. I, there are people I want to protect, and so I need power. I think we should be hearing something. All right, well, I, we'll just keep going for now here. There we go, oh. Joe. We hear it. Okay. Sorry, everybody. It was just subtle. Cool. Now I have power. The power of the rune. <laughs> now I have a chance. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay. Um. I mean, I think it is interesting from a gameplay perspective too. Uh, in Suicune One, like your your rune that you get is very of offensive. Yeah. And very, very powerful. Like the, you know, instant kills enemies kind of thing. Right. Whereas this it makes you kind of your party's designated healer. Yeah. You have been granted the power. Carrie, you have the bright shield rune. Joey, you have the black sword rune. They are two aspects of the rune of beginning. Go now. Go and write your own fates. And I mean, even that, like you don't get the satisfaction of having like a true rune you have piece of it a part of a true rune, right and that kind of in uh Suicone 5 like you had a um baby rune yeah like a, a lesser yeah the you know and, the, the sun rune and the night rune had a baby mm -hmm. and like i think it's i think it's kind of interesting from a storytelling perspective especially like with your brotherhood with joey and like you know your unite attack and like how they just keep you you're so much stronger together yeah and if it's like you guys could just stay together, you know, you would be. But it's not yeah, in Joey. store. Are you all right? What happened? Tell me. A dream? I don't think it was a dream. Carrie, show me your right hand. So it wasn't a dream after all. What? 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 What, what happened in there? Yeah, I'm okay. We're okay, Pelika. Right, Carrie? Let's go. We don't know when the Highland Army will come here. And we have to go on. Something that I, I wanted to point out the last time we recorded and I was watching back is like, I think it's really affecting that Pelika has uh, multiple character portraits. And in fact, like in that scene when she's, when it first happens at uh, her village burns down, um, like she has a crying portrait. Mm. Um, I think, and there's I can't think of any other characters, or at least not that many, that really swap like that. Um, also, I think it's interesting that Pilka is the one that brought us here. You know, Pilka kind of had this set, like almost sense that to bring us to that spot, the place that her father protected. You know, right. um, I think it shows a trust in us. And also, like, you know, maybe is it... Maybe the, she's, like, more aware of things than... Um, people give her credit for. Like, I'm not sure. Can Actually, I'm not sure what to think of that. Let me turn the sound for us down a little bit again. Oh, okay. Also, uh, the, maybe like the the hand of fate, because like Pelicus like kind of stepped out, like the fate like 
uh, is using Pilika as a, like a tool. Mm -hmm. That kind of story trope for somebody who's kind of checked out. Yeah. I'm not sure. Also, what do you think of um, s setting you in this position where you have uh, potentially unfamiliar party members? Because... Oh, because it's randomized? Yeah. Um, like, it's an interesting... Because, you know, the in the... You know, the chaos, you didn't get to choose who you go with. Like, I like that. And that it's, you know, they're not equipped. And there's a little bit of a sense of dread of unsafety. Yeah. And maybe also to show you mechanically that like those lower level characters will shoot up in levels really quickly too. Like to say, hey, it's all right to swap characters. Even yeah. lower level ones that aren't equipped. That's, that's all right. Huh? Where do you think you're going? We're friends of Victor, the mercenary leader. Uh, we told him we'd meet him, uh, meet up with him here. Let us in. Sorry, no one, no one comes in without an entry permit. We have to watch out for Highland spies. Hey, are you calling us spies? Come on, let's not lose our tempers. Uh, leave it to Nanami. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have to meet an old grump named Victor. Come on, uh, just let us in, okay? That's great. And the shadow, too, bobbing around with it. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Now buzz off, little pug nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great use of the, like, it's a the, different the, than, like, the shaking, but it's like her hair yeah. highlights her shaking. Yeah, the, the twitchy in anger. What? What did you just call me? I called you pug nose, shrimp. Now buzz off. <laughs> Sh shrimp say that again you'll be sorry shut up you frog faced whiny little tomboy frog faced whiny tomboy go I'll rip your lips off <laughs> your history <laughs> wait 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 like I like how like Donami's like oh cool off cool off <laughs> I'll take it <care> <laughs> yeah she kind of reminds me of, um, Akane. Yeah, Kendo that's exactly what Rana. I was thinking. Let me go, I'll kill him. Come on, stay out of my way. It won't help to yell at the guard, and it's not as if uh, we're part of Victor's army. The guard has no reason to believe us. But, uh, we can't just give up. We've got to find another way. Yeah. So, I mean, like, there's nothing necessarily telling you go here waypoint over here and nothing you know it's just sort of like player insight probably and I can imagine you know maybe you go south and you keep exploring and you didn't even see this you know um, but I don't you know I think it's clear enough probably there's yeah. not that many places you can go they blocked off the western border so you can't go that way there's really only two places you can go, or three places. You can go back in the Muse where they won't let you in. You can go south to the other village where you can just grind some weapons. Or you can go, you know, try going back east and you just kind of walk into the yeah. hospital inn. I mean, I, I like that enough. Player yeah. agency. Like, you know, let people feel it out before. It's cool. Hello. Welcome to the White Deer Inn. The beds are clean and breakfast is included. You picked a strange place to open an inn, didn't you? Well, um, maybe. But you'd be surprised how many people stay here. Well, shall I show you to your room? <laughs> hey, Hilda, Hilda! What are you so excited about? <laughs> I did it, Hilda. Be happy. I finally found the way to the treasure. It was just like I thought. I knew there was something funny about the ruins. It's funny how much this looks like somebody we know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I didn't even have to say it. Yeah. Okay. What? You should be happier. We can finally say goodbye to this failure of an inn. This piece of shit. 
place. Why would anybody stay here? We rub poop in the food. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, Alex. Don't reveal all of our secrets. <laughs> I've got to get some help. It's dangerous in there. Well, I bet I can find some city people to help out. You know, looking at Alex's character portrait, he really would look better with a mullet, wouldn't he? <laughs> and a belly shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find you a jewel so big you won't even be able to carry it. We're gonna be rich, Hilda. Alex, please don't do anything dangerous. The treasure is probably just a rumor. Please, I don't want you to. What are you talking about, Hilda? I'm doing this for you. Anyway, I'm going to find some people to help. That man. Oh, excuse me. That's okay. Was that your husband? Yes, he's obsessed with treasure hunting. I don't know what to do. Well, shall I show you to your room? <laughs> uh, sort of a bizarre voice I picked for her, but... Pilika can't sleep. Ah, oh, I slept well. We've been camping out for so long. I do like how like tucked down under the covers Joey is, and you were laying face down, like you're just nice little touch. Joey's oversleeping again. When is he gonna wake up, Carrie? We should throw water on him again, or should we? Oh, oh. What are you doing, Pelica? Huh? <laughs> that's that's our line. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, is it morning? I am curious what that's supposed to mean. I just like she's grabbing on him, I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's not like a my name is nobody situation. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to I I know the movie. Well, so like for those oh. who don't know, my name is nobody. Oh, ends where with, he like holds him up okay, with her, yeah, like, his my, fin the, finger up the butt. My name is nobody. <laughs> nobody, the main character of the movie, like in the post-credit scene or like in the epilogue scene, whatever. Nobody's getting his uh, uh, shaved, and the barber kind of has uh, the 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 shaving blade to his neck, uh, nobody's neck, and nobody puts his finger up the barber's butt and the barber <laughs> drops the razor. <laughs> yeah. And it's supposed to be like... The, well, the no barber's like threatening, like gonna slit his throat. Yeah, and nobody's like, I got a pistol up your butthole. Yeah, but, but really, really it's, it's just, just his thing. finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, weird movie. <laughs> yeah. I actually like that movie. It's, I recommend going and watching it. I love, it. yeah, all of those um, Terrence Hill westerns. Everybody, did you sleep well? We had a wonderful time. Dinner was wonderful, too. That would have been neat to see. Dinner? I don't know, like, you know... Yeah, eating, like, just eating supper. I Like, I just like those kind of, like, little scenes. Like, I like characters eating in an RPG. Like, Legend of uh, Legaia... Fantasy 15. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or uh, Legaia 2. Uh, do you remember the cooking scenes? Mm. There's something about no. that that just... Oh, I do. Yeah, Legaya. Okay. Okay. Um, by the way, thinking about Final Fantasy XV, uh -huh. dude, cup of noodles, am I right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Coleman. <laughs> All right. Okay. We hope you'll come back again soon. We'd love to. Okay, let's go, Carrie. Kobold. Me, me, Kobold. I've got some nice things. Oh, rare, rare finds. Ooh, Ooh, belt of strength. It's probably worth it. Uh, how much money do we have? Uh, 11,290. 11, Get one of those, you think? Yes. They probably just have one. Uh, carry? carry? Yeah. Boom. Done. Oh, they, oh. Got four. they got four, actually. Nice. Um, can we sell anything? No. Uh, maybe we should go down to that other village before this dungeon, since the upcoming dungeon's kind of difficult. Yeah. Uh, and like get armor and stuff for Samza. That's a 
pretty good idea. Yeah, or at least some cheapo stuff. And he's a S or a yeah. short range fighter. Mm hmm. Maybe we should save it too. Yeah. Oh. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. What? <laughs> Whoa. Alex. What's wrong? Damn those city folk. Nobody believed me. They even call me a liar. Damn. Alex. If uh, we don't need Threather, right? What are you saying, Hilda? This time I really found the way to the treasure. I want to give you a good life. Not in the backwoods like this. We could open an inn and muse. Excuse me, when you said those city folk, did you mean the citizens of Muse? Yeah, so what? Uh, so does this mean you have an entry permit? Yeah, these days you can't get in without an entry permit. So, uh, do you think you could maybe lend it to us? We need to get into Muse and the guard won't let us in. Hmm. Okay. I'll make you an offer. You guys help me look for treasure, and I'll let you, uh, uh, lend you my entry permit. How about it? I like that the, um... The, yeah, the wife looks, um... Distraught. Yeah. Sounds interesting. Interesting. We will help. Great! We're off to search for treasure! Good. We'll go right away. Uh, while we can. We can't take this little girl. Hilda, will you watch this kid? Maybe she can play with Pete. Oh, that's no problem. But dear, I really wish you wouldn't do this. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Please, be careful. Pilika, be a good girl. And Carrie and I will be back soon. Uh... Okay. Now we're ready. The ruins are toward the back of the inn. Let's go. Darling, please be careful. Pilka left the party. Alex joined. The convoy. On the convoy. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy. Safe. Yeah. Then we go suit up. Suit up like Suda 51. Uh, yeah, how about we go to get some armor and then we'll call it a day. I want to... Whoop. What? I want to... Uh, I thought we were going to leave. We have to leave. Uh, I want to apologize for mis mixing up the days in the previous recording, or in the previous episodes where I was like, see you on Friday or whatever. I think I said some... So mixed up the days, and I, I'm just deeply, deeply sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know how important accuracy is for our fan base, and you know, I mean that's why people go to to um, let's play oh. to let's plays in general to know what day it is. Yeah. So I mean, we've thrown people off. Yeah. I mean, it's like you you probably missed a meeting at work. It's just a bummer. Pe people have been fired. Ru lives have been ruined. It's not right, man. I mean, like, imagine, like, how scary that would be if, like, you woke up and you thought that it was Wednesday, and then you hear some Let's Player telling you that it's Friday, and you're like, yo, what? I guess I'm just not gonna go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Even though people normally work on a Friday, <laughs> it's just kind of like you might as well give up at that point. Yeah. You know, hey, like, hey, buddy, if you're not going to go to work on Friday anyway, that's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's on you. Yeah, Zomsa's, like, doing pretty good. Yeah. Zomsa. Isn't that a name of, like, another character in some other thing? Zomsa. Ramza. Yeah. yeah. Zomsa hey. from Tactics. Final. Fantasy tactics for those who do no. I don't think there's anybody we can recruit. Oh, we were gonna get armor, I guess. 
It's more important you're right, Joe. Ah, you're so right. <laughs> I, I I have no opinion. Uh, where's the armor shop? Shop. Is there no armor shop here? I can't rem- Is there one on the docks? That's an item shop. That's an inn. That's a blacksmith. That's a tavern. Hmm. I just don't remember. There's that, that creepy Sonya cat. cat. There's a bird. Are you doing that Zay Frank thing? There's an old man. There's Tayo's house over there. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe there's no armor shop. That's kind of... So are we just, like, boned? Uh, hmm. All right. What, what about that guy there behind the table? Okay, take the next load of him into the bay. One? Oh, bay, into bay one. Uh, huh? Who the hell are you? Hmm. All right, everybody. I'm sorry that's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, I guess because we, I don't think we can get in, back into Green Hill. No, we probably. I'm sure they won't last through that western, western, uh, sharpen. We could sharpen up Nanami. Yeah, let's do it. And maybe we just give like Joey's armor to Samsa, since he's in the front. Not a bad idea. Do we want anybody else? Maybe we could do it, throw one on Joey. Yeah, let's do it. Uh... Kinnison, maybe? God, we... Yeah, it's too bad we don't have Shiro. Yeah. Or Gengen. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like Mukumuku and uh, Shiro don't need sharpened and yeah, they don't need armor. Yeah, and they're super powerful. Super, super hot. Uh, all right, well, we'll call that an episode, everybody. Uh, next time you see us, it will be Sunday afternoon. Oh wait, no, today is Tuesday. Wait, oh. Joe, I'm doing it again. <laughs> All right, see everybody whenever the next one is. I'm lost. Okay, bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>